Let's talk about your assets. No, I don't mean your physical attributes, and I'm not really concerned with your financial position. I'm talking about the assets that make up your projects. The files, the WAV files, the AVI files, the JPEG files that make up a typical project. Let's take a look at the Media Manager. The Media Manager is a powerful tool which allows you to create a database of all your files and then query that database on various criteria to find exactly the file that you want. Be advised it's not for the faint of heart in the sense that it requires a significant investment up front to get everything just the way you need it to be. Let's take a look at the screen areas. Up here is the tag search button. This can be used in a rudimentary way to search for all the JPEG files, for example. Shows me all the JPEG files. I can look for all the WAV files or any other text string that I need to look for. This is the tag section. We'll talk about tags in a moment. And this is the advanced query building area where we can add any criteria that are listed here. For example, the camera make that was used to shoot the video, the original date, title, tempo, video, stream, with year. This is the search results panel. It looks a little bit like the project media in that it has a play, stop, and an autoplay button. And it allows you to see a grid like an Excel spreadsheet, a list, or thumbnails. You can have the thumbnail zoom in when you roll over it, if you'd like. We can set that up in Media Library Options. We can store our thumbnails in a common folder, or with the media files, or both, or we can decide not to store thumbnails. Thumbnails are very handy. They take up very little disk space. You really should use it. We could use a reference library, and if you install the Sony Sound Series Loops and Samples, that will be listed here, and you can switch to that reference library using this button here. This loads Sony's Sound Series Loops and Samples reference library. All of these are available for purchase. When you click on an item in the search results panel, you get information about that item or properties of that item over in this panel here. We're going to go ahead and use the Media Library Actions button to create a new media library. We're going to call this one DAL1 using my initials. We can assign it a particular folder. and let's create it. Now our media library is available, but it has nothing in it. Let's add files. It's going to search whatever hard drive or whatever folder I specify and add whatever files it finds to the media library. This may take several minutes, 
let it run its course, you can see the number of files adding up. Now all the files that were on that hard drive are part of the DAL1 media library. Keep in mind, the media manager is a catalog. It's a relational database. It's not a repository of anything. It contains only the names of files, information about the files, and pointers to the files. Notice in the advanced section, we have three criteria already. Audio stream, video stream, still image. We put a check here, we get a listing of all the still images in our database. Put a check here, we get a listing of all the video image files. In this case, they're AVI files. And a couple of Vegas files, because that's the way Vegas views the Vegas file. And we can look for audio streams as well. Audio streams would be any AVI file that contains audio or any WAV file. 